on the harsh and rugged terrain of Ethiopia's Ogaden, members of the region's dreaded counter-insurgency police, or Liu, are on patrol. Rearing for a fight, they search for their opponents, the rebel Ogaden National Liberation Front, ONLF. The ONLF, an ethnic Somali armed movement, has for decades been fighting for greater political autonomy for the Ogaden region. Founded just four years ago, the Liu police now form the backbone of the region's security apparatus and have replaced the Ethiopian army in fighting the rebels. Within a short period, we've had big successes. We have weakened our opponents. This man, president of the Somali region, Abdi Mohamed Omar, formed the Liu police. They also take their orders from him. For any force to be effective, they have to speak the language of the people they serve and belong to their religion and culture. It became necessary for the regional government to face head-on its security challenges, hence the formation of the police. Though trained, armed and paid by the regional government, the legal status of the force has often been unclear. These men pride themselves with taming the massive insecurity and the insurgency in this region. Just four years after their force was formed, the regional government that was largely restricted to the capital and a few other places is now present in most parts of the region but their tactics have been heavily criticised. I mean, we've got quite a lot of photos of basically... Human rights groups accuse the Liu police of engaging in serious abuses against civilians throughout the region. The Liu police is a new actor on the scene which was put in place from about 2007 onwards, but fits into this context of impunity where security forces can do more or less what they want. Basically, the Liu police are almost working in a, a vacuum. It's a claim the regional president denies. Human Rights Watch should be impartial. They usually peddle lies and propaganda from our opponents. They should also examine the atrocities being committed by the rebels. With tight controls imposed on access to the Ogaden region for independent journalists and aid workers, it is difficult to confirm the claims and counterclaims. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Jigjiga, Ethiopia.